this, you um, get it on Everbee email. You have the dashboard. And as you can see here, you have the filter to search for, select a fil to filter a time period. By default, it shows the um, last 30 days. Now that doesn't include today's uh, data. Um, and as you're uh, looking at, at the screen, I'm sorry, I'm deep, I keep admitting people in, sorry about that. Um, so this shows what's happening within this time period. If we change it to last seven days, the data would be updated and changed. Now you can look at, um, you know, email sent, you can search by revenue or by orders, by subscribers as well. Um, and then here you have your recent activities in terms of the subscribers, the orders that you were able to get through Everbee email uh, and so on. The next part is the uh, campaigns. And there are two kinds of campaigns at the moment. There's the order campaigns. And of course, there's the subscriber campaigns. The difference between uh, these two is that order campaigns are based on events that happen on Etsy. Um, and you can send these emails in accordance with Etsy's policies, with Etsy's guidelines, and they are automatic um, that happen. So the order confirmation, it takes place as soon as someone places an order, the order confirmation email gets sent to your subscribers. The shipment confirmation email goes out to, phys to uh, customers who place an order for a physical item for digital products, uh, no email will be sent. Uh, same thing for the delivery for digital products, it's not going to be sent. So if you're selling both physical and digital products in your store, you can keep these open and it's only going to send the notifications for physical products. Now, review requests, it's slightly different. It's sent for physical products. Um, after a certain delay, you can set that delay. By default, it's set to three days, uh, but you can change that. It's set to three days after the delivery confirmation. And for digital products, it's sent uh, three days after the order is placed. At any point, you can um, click on this preview button and open in the editor in order to um, to edit these emails. Now, the templates themselves, uh, they're already created for you, but as you know, you can change these, uh, these emails. You can add your own text. You can add different blocks if you want to add different products, uh, different buttons, and so on. What's really important about these four emails, uh, the order campaign emails, is the subscribe button right here. Meaning that once your buyer receives uh, this email, what's going to happen is um, they, they click on this subscribe button. Now they're added to your email list, and now you're able to send them promotional emails. And that's kind of like the, now you're, you know, you're complying with Etsy's policies in terms of sending promotional emails to um to customers who have explicitly accepted uh, to receive those emails from you. And if you include this, uh, now all, all of these four emails have the subscribe button in them. So if you keep these four campaigns on, you have four chances of getting um, uh, people to subscribe to your email list. Um, once they subscribe to your email list, you're, you're able to send them the subscriber campaigns. By default, we include four emails that are part of the welcome um, email series. Um, and these four emails are basically, we're absolutely thrilled to have you on board. Thank you for subscribing. And they are four emails. Each one has a different delay. So that the first day, the first email goes out. Then the second email, 
on the second day, third email, and fourth email. And you can send, you can create other emails as well by creating on new campaign. You have two options now, a single campaign and an auto campaign. The difference between them uh, is very simple. A single campaign is an email that you're sending once to your subscribers. You can either send it now or you can schedule it to send out on a different day. Uh, think of it as you have a new product that you're launching in your store. So you can send an email to your subscribers telling them, hey, we have this new product um, and we want to let you know about it. Here's the link to the uh, to the product. Now, an auto campaign is different in a sense that um, you can set it up that whenever someone subscribes to your email list, you can send this email over and over and over again uh, to new people who, who subscribe. So that's the main difference between uh, these two. Uh, on the subscribers tab, this is where you have your list of all the subscribers that you have and people who unsubscribe. Um, you can also add subscribers uh, by either creating a new list, you can import a, uh, a CSV file, or you can add them manually one by one uh, if you have their email addresses. What's really important here is the subscribe page and confirmation page. The subscribe page, uh, this is where um, what people will see if they want to subscribe to your email list. Um, you can change the text here. This is what they will see. Um, so you can add in whatever you want. It's it's automatically going to pull in your shop logo from here. You can adjust the color of this button and the text as well. And this is the link that you can use to share um, everywhere uh, to get more subscribers. Now, it's automatically included in the order campaigns uh, on the subscribe now button. Um, but you can take this link, uh, you can copy it and place it on your social media telling people, hey, subscribe to my email list, you'll get a 10% discount or you know, uh, a free file of digital downloads, something of value to them in order to entice them to sign up for your email list. You can also add it um, on, your, uh, on Etsy, in your shop, on different places. So for example, where can you add it? You can include it in the announcements, uh, subscribe and, and uh, to my email list. You can include it in your uh, product listing. You can also include it here uh, in one of the links as well uh, to your to your shop where you have your social links and you have a website link. So you can add it here as well um, to give people a chance to subscribe to your email list. Um, so this is really important that and will help you add more uh, subscribers. In the settings tab, the sender name is how your, um, you know, when someone receives an email in their inbox, uh, you can personalize this so you, so you can only include your first name if you want. The reply email address, basically, if someone wants to reply to you to the email that's being sent, this is the email that you would add. This information is, we get it pulled from Etsy, from your account, as soon as you make the uh, uh, connection. The email header, um, I have it turned off, but if you turn it on, then it's going to show the top logo on all of the different emails. Um, and then this is a place for you to add address. It's a requirement that all emails have the address field, and then you can add in your social uh, profile links. So this is kind of like a quick overview of Everbee email. Uh, most importantly is the subscribe page. Um, so take grab that link and share it on your Etsy store, on social media to build your subscriber list. Um, one thing I also want to mention about the um, order campaigns, um, if I come here and start editing it. Um, we have an option to add the different products that we want to show in these emails. Uh, one option is to show your best-selling products. 
or your featured listings, your newest listings, or custom listings. And by custom listings, you can select, you know, from one to six products. All you have to do is drop in the, the, your Etsy uh, product link in here. So let's do that. And instead of taking your Etsy, uh, you know, public link, what I will do is go to marketing, go to my share and save link and share a listing. This way I'm saving uh, the 4%, um, oh, sorry. I'm saving the 4% on Etsy fees. Share and save and copy this link. And what I'll do is I'll add it here. And now this product is going to include this, or this email is going to include this particular product. This is good if you only want to promote a very specific product. Otherwise, if you want to have this dynamic and you're always adding products to your store, you can either use the new listing, uh, which would feature, you know, like instead of you might also like, you can say, here are the newest listing and you can have this email automated. So it's sent every uh, week to your subscribers with, hey, here are the newest listings that we have uh, in our store for this week.